we took a simple birdhouse design and cranked it up to 11. With our CNC and X tool, we're crafting next level custom birdhouses. Precision cut bricks, intricate window designs, and even a hand painted tribute to our hometown. But we didn't stop there. We've got Ghostbusters, Spider-Man, and more are in the works. Wanna see how we pulled it off? And what's coming next? Let's build. Welcome back to the Project Dreamers. We've got an exciting project to share with you today. This was a fantastic build process. We developed some themed birdhouses, a Ghostbuster birdhouse, a Spider-Man birdhouse, an Amherst store, and what's really exciting is Mandy's in the process of finishing up a themed birdhouse that's actually a bookstore. And we couldn't have done this project without the work of the Onefinity CNC machine and our X-Tool P2S laser. The Onefinity CNC machine did all of the heavy lifting here, doing all of the brickwork, the pocketing out of the windows, the bird entry holes, and then we came in with our X-Tool P2S laser to do all the finer details that you see here, such as the stairway and the framing around the windows. Now I also want to give a shout out to Woodsmith Magazine who developed this really cool file for us to use. Um, it, it really opened up a lot of creativity and it really underscores the balance between the One Infinity CNC and our X-Tool P2 laser. We had so much fun creating these birdhouses. We'd love to do some more, but let's show you our process on how we built these today. We started by cutting half inch plywood 10 inches wide by 30 inches tall for all four sides of the birdhouse. Here you can see the first step on the CNC is cutting the brick and the windows. Now, our first birdhouse, we followed the plan outlined by Woodsmith Magazine and pocketed the window. Although this came out very well, painting was extremely time consuming and we're gonna show you how our X tool helped us to not only speed up the process, but allow for more creativity in the design. Before assembling the birdhouse, it's essential to miter both sides. This ensures the bricks align perfectly, enhancing the realistic brick illusion. Although not shown here, the Onefinity CNC precisely cut the dados for this three-level birdhouse, ensuring easier assembly and a remarkably sturdy structure. How exciting is this? The project has just come off the CNC and now it's ready to be assembled. Now we took the time to dry fit everything to make sure that the assembly process would go relatively smooth. Now I'm going to use Type Bond 3 glue to put this all together. Now let's do that. We've supersized the dado for an effortless assembly. No more wrestling with a rubber mallet like it owes you money. If we've said it once, we've said it a thousand times. Heck, we probably muttered it in our sleep. Everybody say it with us now. You can never have enough clamps. It may not have been necessary, but we utilized our pin nailer for some extra strength as well. Despite using an eighth inch down cut bit, the cut has some imperfections. However, this actually works in our favor, adding a natural, realistic texture to the brickwork. Once we begin painting, the details will become even more pronounced, enhancing the overall effect. Trying to find the appropriate color that matches brick has been more than a challenge. Now, if you've seen some of my other projects, painting's probably not my best skill, but I'm able to usually hold my own, but this has been a little bit more challenging. I tried this for a color of brick. It's a little too red, but you know what? I'm thinking later on, maybe for an industrial type building, this might look okay. I tried to distress it a bit with a little bit of white and gray. Really wasn't too happy about that. So I went to Home Depot and I ended up getting, picking out a swatch, it's called Spice of all colors. That actually replicates the brick color the best. And I think once I'm able to distress this a little bit more by adding some black and gray to make the building look older or the house look older, um, that'll be the right combination. So let's do that now. Now that the base color has been laid and dried, I get to move on to the fun part. We get to add the grout. Now I did a test sample. There it is. And my technique is a little unorthodox. I'm going to brush all this gray into the grout lines and then wipe it off. Kind of like if you were doing uh, tile in your bathroom. Well, that's the thought process anyway. Let's see how this works out. 
Now that we knocked it out of the park and achieving the faux brick color, we've moved our attention to painting the windows, which was extremely time consuming. Just completed the birdhouse build on the Onefinity CNC machine. It looks amazing, great paint job, but as you can see here, we're gonna build another one and the window grids aren't in place on this one. And that's because this time around, we're gonna use our X-Tool P2S laser and cut out these finer details and see if it saves us any time on assembly and painting. Let's get started. I finished cutting them out on the laser. I took this window pane, popped it in right here, and it's a perfect fit. And look how nice it looks. It's so much nicer, it's gonna help us out with painting, cut down on time, and it, overall, it's just a better product. We're adding artwork to the side of our birdhouse to reflect the heart of our community. This mural celebrates our local farmers who cultivate asparagus and pays tribute to the annual festival that brings us all together. A local artist drew this mural and we brought it into X-Tool to create a mask. Yet there was still a lot of hand painting to be done. And on the other side we paid tribute to a local farmer's market and I tried my best at some hand-drawn flowers. The uneven surface made this quite the challenge. Now this is exciting. We needed to cut some corbels for the birdhouse. Now I could have done it on the scroll saw or band saw. I could have even done it on the Onefinity CNC. But we just got this X-Tool into the shop and I wanted to give it a shot. Now I needed to cut this corbel. It's pretty intricate. And you can see it's relatively small. So it makes it hard to cut. I put this in X-Tool and literally it cut it out in about 10 seconds. What a great tool for the shop. I can't wait to do more projects with it. We also cut arch trim pieces for the windows, and when we put the corbels and trim pieces in place, they gave the birdhouse a nice finished look. The stair railings were cut out on the X-Tool, and the steps were cut out on the table saw. Here I am just distressing the stairs to give them a bit of character. We've had a fantastic time exploring all the creative possibilities that came with this brick file on our CNC machine. Combining the precision of the CNC with the versatility of the X-Tool allowed us to take our birdhouse designs to the next level. Our very first creation was a tribute to our hometown, which inspired us to design a series of themed birdhouses. From a Ghostbusters-inspired birdhouse to a Spider-Man-themed one, we had a blast using the X-Tool to craft intricate artwork and unique window features. This fusion of technology and creativity has truly brought our ideas to life. And we're just getting started. Up next, we have Willy Wonka, Sesame Street, and Back to the Future themed birdhouses in the works. But we'd love to hear from you. What would you like to see us build next? Drop your ideas in the comments and don't forget to follow us to stay updated on our latest creations. Spring is just around the corner and there's no better time to bring these birdhouses to life.